let's take a look at the three synthesizers and step sequencer that come with the Mutant Sound Pack. First one we're going to talk about is Clone. Let's grab the Mutant Step Sequencer. You want to make sure you initialize the Step Sequencer. It works with Push, APC, and Launchpad. You can switch between them whenever you feel like in your project as well. I'm going to grab a sound from the clone. Here are macro templates that allow you to build your own patches, but I'm going to go down to the base here, and I'm going to select BWAP. So let's create a sequence. Here on the scene launch bar, I can change the step length. Tap again to increase velocity. Next page is chords. You can build chords off of your notes in the step. If I double tap, I get a lower octave. Then we can change the octave of the note. Let's take a look at another sound. going to hot swap. We're going to go down to Rogue One. Inside of Rogue One, we'll go to Synth Keys. We'll select Dark Bush. We'll start it up. Nice tweaky sound. We're going to select Link. So this just changes the length of the note, adds more expression, and then here's the glide. Next page is scales. You see the keys here, which scale, I'm going to change mine to F sharp. There's lots of different scales in here, common ones, not so common ones. Now let's hot swap again and we'll go up to the pulsator. And we're going to go down to synth leads. And we're going to click Fidget Mess. I'm going to toggle back to the step sequencer. And we're going to look at the sequence mod. If you look here, we have a selection for the sequence mods. We have four of them. You can also go using the octave buttons to go through there. I'm going to turn on modulation one, and I'll click learn to select my modulation. I'm going to go to the Mutant Effects Rack, and I'm going to select Saturation Drive. So that is now set, and we will press play. And this is how you can modulate by step. And if you'd like to set boundaries, you can use the touch strip. And you can move the bottom up with shift. And you have, remember, three others that you can use. And also the glide here. I turn that on. And let me make it more extreme. See, it's no longer jumping, but scaling. So let me turn this off. And then on. Next is what makes the mutant synth pack a mutant. 
the one of a kind spiral. This generates different patterns depending on which one you select. There are a ton of patterns in here to make some really crazy sounds. I'll show you a few of my favorite. And the animations are just crazy. If I press repeat, it'll step on its own. So check that out. That can definitely swallow up a lot of fun time for you. Unless you have the presets to set multiple sequences and be able to go back and forth within them and they'll all be saved within your project. This is the mutant synth pack that comes with the clone, pulsator, and rogue one. Happy mutating. <laughs>